Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry, and as we get into tonight's video newsletter, I wanted to bring you two basic ideas. The first of which is going to be here in the SPX and is working off of the idea that clearly Friday was a very steep decline, right? So off of that selling, it gets you just uh, a couple of points shy of that huge level at 5,400. You've seen a very significant bounce, not just a bounce, but a bounce that came with a gap. So anyone that was positioned for the end of the world on Friday or got overly bearish there at the lows, you know, they immediately come into the market underwater. And then from there, you know, a little bit of a, I think there was a lot of skepticism against that strength because that's how the bull trap on Friday started. <clears throat> so you get a little bit of that bull trap. You do flush a very significant 30 plus points, but notice that that flush just barely gets down, you know, doesn't quite fill, definitely not the gap from Friday's close. And even if you look at it technically off of these spike levels, right? Because if you were stuck short over the weekend, this is the spot where you start looking to cover. So when bears are covering down here, that helps pull you up into this. This action for several hours, I think was kind of nondescript. But then when you close as well as you did today, this is all a summary that I believe is setting the stage where tomorrow, if we open at 70 or 75 or 80, I believe there is a playable move to 90 and into the double O. So that could give you a little bit of directional movement, of course, depending on where we open. If you open down some, anything down into 5450 is okay and should still present somewhat of a direct buy. You start getting below that, that I'll have to reevaluate, and Tuesday may be bringing something that I'm not seeing. But at least for now, I'm looking for a test of 5,500, and that's part of Tuesday's action, potentially today. Now, the other piece of it is over here in NVIDIA, but it follows exactly the same logic that says bigger picture. I think NVIDIA actually could test sub 100, right? It got below 101 last week, and then again, like SPX, had the bounce you saw today. That bounce saw a pull back into, but not quite perfectly filling the gap. So same thing, where if you were stuck short here, that was your one opportunity to get out. And if you did not take it, well then you're gonna be getting squeezed again on Tuesday. The way that I would like to look at it is that purchasing calls, right? <clears throat> again, depending on where we open Tuesday, you open up at 106, give or take. I think that's where you start to look at picking up the 108 calls. Uh, you could even go deeper in the money if you prefer. Now, obviously, manage your risk and back down below here would be a little problematic. But if you can back and fill into about 105, catching a bullish move into 108, and then maybe if we get lucky using some runners up into 112, that'll be the short term trading action that I'm looking for. Then you've got to wait for the economic data that's due out on Wednesday and Thursday. But I hope that helps for your planning on Tuesday. Let me know if you have any other comments, questions, or otherwise. And I hope to see you in the chat room tomorrow. Hey traders, this is Henry with SimplerTrading.com. I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if so, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below. If you would like to also see me putting these ideas into action and trading my own account live in front of you, be sure to sign up at SimplerTrading.com and I hope to see you in the chat room sometime soon.